Good morning. May the Lord God bless you. Shalom everywhere you are. Shalom, it means the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ left to us. As the prophet of God says, Shalom to the bride of Jesus Christ everywhere in the world. That's the best things I can give you this morning. I don't have something else I can brought to you. It's only this word, the only life it can brought to us. Shalom is this living God's word. We're going to read in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3. Um, let us do like uh, just the way my mother was doing. When she's, she was busy reading her Bible, she was always, when she wants to turn the page, when it's to the new Bible, she was always doing just then turning. And all of them in that time, they was uh, counting the money with uh, their um, fingers. They are doing the same things. So then they are counting their money, you see. So things change, but others remain. But in spiritual things, the people want to remain the same with God. No, the only one is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever is the Lord Jesus Christ. As we call to be changed. We must change. The reason why we came here talking about the transformation. We need to be transformed, you see. And the only thing that can help us to to, to be transformed is when the Spirit come in us and convinced us that Jesus Christ is Lord, is the Son of God, is God. If that conviction, it came from the churches, it came from human being, or you listen that from one uh, servant of God or servant of church or you listen that from what I can say your parents or family something like this it means there is nothing yet inside of you that can transform you to understand it's just something you listen something stays like a, a, a uh, what I can say uh, intellectualist to understand Something you can learn. The same things when you are going to the school, you see. But something came from the science is something, what I can say, depends on the time. But what, when we are standing here, we are not talking about the things of the time. Because remember, today we, we, are, we, are, we are here. Some of the people we did last too much, like uh, one of my sister. Yeah, Jose, uh, she's not alive. She passed away this week. Did I understand? In Congo. At the moment, I see the program from uh, One Servant of God in Facebook said it gave us the program. You see, she was a good person, but she been uh, taken away, what I can say, uh, passed away. But we, from there, we have to learn something. And that things we have to learn is to analyze ourselves regarding on what we can see and what has happened. Ask the question inside of yourself. The position I still have as a Christian, I have something that is different on the way I was since I believe in Christ, since I've become a Christian. There is something inside of me that has convinced me I've been uh, uh, I've been born again in the kingdom of God. How my conception in God's word is it? Did I change already my perception? Because perception, the, the, the scientists, the people of science, they always say is everything. But the way them they are saying is everything in their way. But regarding us as a Christian, those ones, they are, they are, we, are, we are preparing ourselves to go and meet him. As the prophet says, before you go back home, he said, look at Jesus Christ and go in his meet. Do you understand? Go and meet him. Look at him. He's there. 
So the people was thinking maybe the prophet says, shows us only in the cloud came. No, the cloud came in 28th of February, 1963, when the prophet was preaching this word, the message of end time. But the cloud disappeared. So the cloud disappeared on, in, on the sky to appear in sight of human beings. Because it was the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But when it came in his second coming, it cannot stay just on the sky. Do you understand? It needs to be somewhere. And that place the Lord needs to be, it must be clean. Do you understand? So, which things it stops us as long as we testimony and we confess, we sing, we preach, we have the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray, we say, let us uh, uh, call the blood. The blood burn such, such things. The blood can and cleanse us. The blood do, do, can do one, two, three. But why? We remain the same. As long as the Bible says the only one must remain, is to remain the same is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. We have to ask the question ourselves. Why? Some of us remain the same. And some of the people stop and even they are returning back. They are going back. The reason, the things is only here. We didn't yet change our mind. So we need that possession from the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the Holy Spirit. It can come to us and change our mind. It means, in another way, we can say change our perception. So we can become one with him. Because if him, the masterpiece, when he was creating, is did say in himself, do you understand? Let me create, create the man in my image. If God created me and you in this own image, it means the life of him as a masterpiece must dwell and be in us. As we are here. Because when he, he did appear that day in the cloud, most of the people was there that day in America, in Arizona. You don't understand? Because the promise of the Lord said in the book of Luke, 17, if you read from verse 20 to verse 30, and the day of the Son of Man be revealed. But remember what the Lord says, that I said is verse 30. But remember what the Lord said from verse 20 to verse uh, 30. Before we reach verse 30, that says to us, in the day the Son of Man will be revealed. But if we read careful from verse 20 to verse 29, we will understand what the Lord tried to explain to his disciples. Because in verse 20, the Pharisees and uh, all of them, the priests, came to the Lord, asking him to show them the kingdom of God. He said to them, the kingdom of God doesn't come the way you people are pretending to receive it or have it. As long as you, ref you refuse, you reject the scripture, that is, is it the identification of the time you are living. Because every time we have to remember that God sent the scriptures. That's why the Bible says God revealed his secret in his seventh prophet. Israel, there was the seed of Abraham. Not like us, the spiritual seed of Abraham, but them, there was the physically, biologically. They came from Abraham. God gave the promise to Abraham, after 400 years I shall come, then I will deliver them in the slave. And that scripture, the scripture fulfilled. But the people didn't see God came from heaven. Do you understand? God made flesh in his prophet calls one person, which is Moses. I want you to understand this carefully, please. 
please, I need your time because it's so precious. Without you, we can stand here for nothing. We are here to help one another so we can win this weak life by his word. Because the power is in this word is the only thing that can help us to reach that level. So if we, when we reach that level so we can be able to walk under our sins, under our transgression and unity, those things will not be able to control us, to brought us every time down, every time. We did this in front of Father. Then we go to confess. We did this sometimes others. They doesn't even confess because that's what we are saying. You see, they remain the same. But we did call not to be remain the same. We did be called to change. So, let me say about this story. It's a so wonderful story for us. It's going to learn us many things because the way, sorry, we still, with God's things, God's word is just the mind we collect with what I can say, intellectualism, the things that came from our school, or our university. But let us say something, from there we will understand how God operates, how the manifestation of God is. You see, Moses was there in the kingdom house of Pharaoh. It was not a simple man. It was the one is supposed to become after the king. Understand? The future king was Moses. And he studied, he did have the diploma, different masters. Moses did have it. Almost five, he did have that. And he was, so they study everything, examine all of those things. But one day when you hear about the story of Israel, and they try to explain to him, you too as you are, you are Hebrews. He said, no, I have to go and study this. He go and examine the things. He, saw, he wanted to do the things by his own. The way the people are doing it in the church, behind of the pulpit. But what happened? Because he can say he loves God. As we can say, all of us, we love God. That's why we want to do one, two, three for the Lord. But we can see it doesn't change people. It doesn't brought something. It can change our mind. Because this mind we have, we collect it from Satan. The science. Because it's the one that started the science. I didn't tell you not going to school, not sending the kids to school, no. Because the way the world is it, we need to work to get something, we need to do one, two, three to survive. Is the system being built already? But in the things of God, we cannot took that at knowledge and brought it here. That intelligence we did learn from the school, we cannot brought it with God's things. It will kill us. We will be there standing, saying we are serving God, but being killed already. That's why we said we came here to talk about the mind of Christ. Because if the masterpiece being created us in needs on image, if when we came here, sorry, when we came here in this world, we came by sex because the first person who started that sex, he broke, he broke first in the scriptures. So he did have access in the first church, which is woman, as the Bible says, a woman, when you read in the Bible, it means church. You see how much you, our sisters and mothers, you are so precious and the, you need to, to get your place as a daughter of God. Because the devil always loves to use you to destroy this world, to destroy the generation, to destroy human beings. Let me continue on what I'm talking. So we did understand 
we get the image of animal, that image of death, that was not in us before. Because before the foundation of this world, when God was created, he said, I, he did create it as in his image. So when Adam lose that image because of the serpent who did came behind of his women, woman, Eve, and brought them in this image, we are living with it here as we are. So we need to get another image. That is in, uh, what I can say. Recommended to us, we must brought away or we can take this mind we have came from science to put it away to take the mind of Christ. That is eternal mind. Do you understand? That is the spoken word. The word of God did spoken on the first time and said, let the light be. If that time not the time, in this, that moment, when God was created, we, we did create us in this image, to understand, as a masterpiece, we need to get his life. It means we are part of him. So if him is the living word, as the book of John chapter 1 said, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God, and the word made flesh, which is the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are talking now. So if the life of masterpiece is in us, how can we get the life of masterpiece? We need to receive that word being pronounced. That I'm saying is the spoken word. If that word fulfilled our spirit, our soul, and this body, so we can be able to change our perception and get the mind of Christ, which is the eternal life. Because the eternal life is the life of God, is Zoe. The life of God. Because it's only the life of God which Jesus can brought us in life or forever. Do you understand that? So if we came from him as a masterpiece, being created in his image, we must do our best until we get his mind, which is his word, it was inside of him as a tribute when it's spoken, so we've been created. So when the devil came, he brought them down. What he did introduce? Introduce what? The science. You read in the book of Genesis chapter 4, chapter 5. We can read it, I think, before we finish. So we will understand something then. It's very important. That's why I say, I repeat again, it's not to tell you don't go to school or don't send kids to school, but... Tell them, don't put your mind on what you are learning. Because this one is only for this flesh to survive, to get bread, to find a job, one, two, three. Look at what they are doing today in this world. To find a job, it's coming difficult. They want to make the people suffer. So you can get in the same organization lodged with them. We need all of us to become Freemason, Pink Rose, what, what, I don't know the name. Do you understand that? But if your mind didn't yet change in Christ, you will be there easily. Moses was there. They did plant him to replace the king was there. But he did born for God, uh, what I can say, God reason. The word when I lose that, well, let me just say it. For the reason to save God, then the same. So what happened when the tells him is Hebrews, he wanted to start to start saved Hebrews in his way. The way the people are doing behind of people today. 
by the miracle, by the prophecies. There is no life behind of all of those things. The miracle, the devil also is doing miracle. Do you understand? But what happened? One day he be, he being discovered and being arrested, Ramses took him, took the place of Moses, and they took Moses, they sent him in the desert. You see the will of God, what can happen sometimes when you, you don't understand, you want to do the things of God in needs in your way. But if you've been chosen, God will keep you passing on the difficult time, facing the difficult things until it will fascinate you in his way. Do you understand? So by the desert, Moses, God cleansed him on holy did the land from the university, from the school, from the all humanity. He been passed secondary schools. All the things have been learned that built his mind with the science. He wanted to help God with the science he did have. All, all of those things he was practice. Do you understand? But God was not in those things. God remained in his way. And in, in his way and in his word. He always do his things in, the, in his proper way. Remember in the Bible, if you read from the book of Genesis until the book of Revelation, you will see God never takes someone he did have acknowledged many diploma and used that person with his intelligence he did uh, what I can say learned. But God always took that person, cleansed him and to brought him in his perfect will so he can serve him regarding his own will. You see the difference? Took the example of Moses when God took him until when God learned him and teach him in his way. We can take the example of apostles, Apostle Paul. The same things happened with Paul. He did have many diplomas, many masters, but God took him. So those examples of many prophets, those ones, serves God. Remember the Lord Jesus Christ himself when he came. Which school did he go? But if he spoke, those people all, they did have a deep intelligence acknowledge even they can say we have suggest we we know all the law of Moses that when he started to spoke it was so different the suggest was inside of him it was God do you understand that so when we came here talking about the time we are living Babylonian time because the Lord invested us in the book of Luke 17, as we are reading it here, we said, read in the uh, verse 20, you see what the Lord responded to the priests and the Pharisees. He said to them clearly, the kingdom doesn't come in the way you people, you are waiting for. Because then they will not believe to him as a Messiah, because they know Messiah. Regarding to Hebrews, the Israelites mean God appear among you and it was a messiah for them there was waiting something that can uh, uh, what i can say as the people like today the things that it can always keep their eyes open big like this oh it's a miracle that's amazing oh, oh, oh. no god never manifested his will in such a way that is a devil Satan. that is a way of Satan is doing you see as we can see on what they are putting, uh, uh, what I can say, in TV. Or oh, American uh, uh, got talent. SA got talent. You see? UK got talent. So, so, such, such, such country got talent. And you see the things they are doing, magical things, and miracle things. The same things with the churches today. Those ones, they reject the perfect will of God. This living world being created, heaven and earth. The only things, if we 
fund the scripture that's been promised on the time we are living as the Lord Jesus Christ, he came fulfilled the promise being uh, 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 prophesied by the prophet of Isaiah. In 61 chapter of Isaiah, from verse 1 to verse 5, the Lord getting inside of the temple and asked the Bible of their time. And the minister gave to him the Bible and he opened it and started to read. And the, uh, the chapter uh, the book of prophet Isaiah in the chapter 61. It started to read from verse 1 until verse 3. Then it said, this scripture is fulfilled today. Do you understand? So which scripture is fulfilled today for you, my beloved brothers and sisters? That you stand on it so it can change your mind. You can get the mind of Christ in you that is eternal life because that mind, when it's been spoken, we've been created. And we didn't been created in this image. This image of fell, of sin. But we've been created in his own image, which is he came in the cross to give his own life. So, the blood which is brought out because the life came is inside of the blood. And the spirit was inside of his blood. It was the Holy Spirit. And so that Holy Spirit, when it came in us, when we are honest, we confess we don't want to keep something inside of us. We say, Lord, have a mercy upon me. I know I'm wrong. I know this, I'm not this. Always, something happened always. You are going slowly, 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 and you are, there, you are there abandoning yourself on listening. Because the faith came on what we are listening. And that we are listening must be the correct God's word preached without mixed your own mind. It must be the correct interpretation of God's will, which is this word vindicated today, revealed to us by his own servant prophet, who came with the scripture that's been promised for us today. For the Lord Jesus Christ, prophet read Isaiah chapter 9 from uh, verse 6, they are talking about Emmanuel. Who is Emmanuel? It means God made flesh. All the prophet Moses tells them in the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 15. You see? And in this time we are coming, remember, even them, the apostles, for them to be apostles because they were the disciples, the disciples of Christ. What happened? The Lord gave them the prophet, the promise before he go, before he been took, taken away in their presence. It's reading in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. You see? So the angels that appear there among us tell them, why you stay eyes open looking on, on the sky? The same way you see him going is the same way he shall come. That's why I tell you about the coming, the second coming of the Lord. As it's written in the book of Revelation chapter 10 from verse 1 to 7. And the date of 28 February 1963, the Lord appeared in the cloud. And that promise filled full for us in the time we're living. Many people in Arizona, if you go in the what, yeah, in the reserve place of the all events happen in the United States, You'll see that event, I'm telling you, they took the pictures to show to the world what happened that day. You see, it was the scripture that manifested the Son of Man. Regarding in the book of Romans chapter 8, if you read it, you'll see what I'm saying. You see? So you still remain in the things that to always keep the eyes of the people on you in the miracle and the prophesy. They won't always go into the church so they can tell him something. 
that will not brought the mind of Christ in you, the Spirit of God will be unable to help you. Why? Because you prefer that can satisfy this flesh. While the scriptures say this flesh, in the same book of Romans chapter 8, this flesh must follow what the Spirit tells him. So your spirit will take something supernatural on what you been find it that's been revealed on the time you are living. You see, the scripture vindicated the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, God made flesh once again. So that's why the cloud will be made flesh, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, because that day when he was going up, the, after rose up, up. When a peer among them, he took with them, he shows them his hand. He took them on the mountain of uh, Oliver, I think, yes. So from there, he was going like this. The one body, as we said that last Sunday, the one body went to the rapture is the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the person, no one, even Elijah. You see? Even Moses, all, of, all the prophets, the Holy One went with his flesh because it was not this, it was a glorified body he did get when he rose up. So we need to talk those body, which, see, which is the body we're going to be with it, them, with them here when we came back. After this world will be destroyed. You think you will be in this body? With that spirit doesn't have the scripture fulfilled today. You see? We need to take position in Christ while we have a time to, to, to prepare ourselves to take that time. If you are not preparing yourself, nothing, no one can come and force you. God sent his servant. Have here hope and on the word as we come to preach it to you this morning. Share it, love it, take your time, consecrate it, analyze your life so you will not be a member on the churches because all the church being built by human beings, everything being built by human beings will disappear. And some of them that doesn't have even life. Doesn't have life. Because the life came from what? From this. The life came from the, his blood. And his blood in this world. As it was saying to us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. We need to drink his, uh, the, what I can say. To heat his body and drink his blood. There so we can have eternal life. Which is come from his blood that day in the, in, the, in the Calvary, in the cross. You see? As if you want to steal only a member on that church because of such, such things, because you see such, such miracle, that healing happened to you. We are living in the time the blood of Jesus Christ is himself or herself be able to do the miracle of his own life. By prayer, by listening his word, and go confess and pray, repent, and say the Lord, you promised. And when you pronounce that promise, you believe, you stand on it, you'll see God will manifest it, and something will happen. If it's the healing, you're going to be healed. If it's the job, you'll find a better one. If everything you need regarding his promise, God will answer you. Because it's not a human being word. It's the living God word who created heaven and earth. So nothing will resist in front of him. But the problem today, the people bring their knowledge they took from the uh, what I can say, the masters, the bloom of doctors, and they came with it in the church to preach God word and they brought that knowledge to Many people are going away from his perfect will. 
you see the cold church we have. The church of living God cannot be called. How it can prepare the people to be a member in his mystical body? The only body went in the rapture. If we are not a member in this body, how can be taken away when the time will arrive, when the fire will burn this universe? Remember about that, my beloved brothers and sisters. We need to take that decision to stand on it and say, Lord, you promised for us in the time we are living in the book of Luke, chapter 17, from verse 20 to verse 30, the day you will be revealed. And when you will be revealed, you shall come and you will dwell in us regarding the book of John 14 from verse 15 till verse 21st. Lord, you promised as you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, you shall come in the promise of Malachi 4 from verse 1 to verse 6. Lord, you appear regarding in the book of Revelation chapter 10. When you came, you came in the book of uh, life, it was open because the, the seventh seal and the ministry of seven thunder being revealed regarding the promise of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to verse, verse 11 or 13, 13 until verse 18. You see the promise of end time. So if you understand all the promise of end time, so you will be able to stand and to understand Revelation chapter 13, Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 17, 18. So you will have a good position. A good position, you can have it only in this mystical body because it's a supernatural body which is brought to you a supernatural life, so you'll be a member in Christ's body. It means you've been taken away already. That's why we said the church of Christ is already in rapture. So when we came to preach, to preach saying we are in the rapture process, it means those ones that are taking decision today, when they listen, they took decision, they changed their mind, say, Lord, I don't want to be a member of this being built by human being. I need to be a member in your mystical body. As the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, you can continue to read even chapter 13. You see, one body but different member of the body. So you build all of us one body. That body is the body of Christ. So we need that help from the Lord, not to understand this thing the way we went to understand the things of school. Most of the preachers behind of the pulpit, they become the prophets, the professor of university. They are teaching us the science. That science came from the devil. You cannot take this Bible, open it, start, start preaching the people as we are. You are, you are preaching like in the school. No. It's differently. Because it's the eternal mind of Christ. You must, you must abandon yourself in him. So he must come and dwell in you. So you can communicate life. You can brought the people to change their mind. But the power of the Holy Spirit. Who always came when the scriptures are. Correctly interpreted. Let us read the scripture so we will finish. May the Lord God bless you. We are so happy to meet one another in his holy presence. Will you read in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, from verse 18? Let us read it right now. We are here in verse 15, 18. For Christ died. For sins once and for all, a good man on behalf of sinners. Understand what we are reading. 
in order to lead you to God. Amen. He was put to death physically, but made alive spiritually. And in his spiritual existence, he went and preached to the imprisoned spirits. Let's continue. These were the spirits of those who had not obeyed God when he waited patiently during the day that Noah was building his boat. Amen. The few people in the uh, the few people in the boat ate. In all was saved by the water, which is which was a symbol pointing to baptism, which is now saves you. It is not the watching away of badly dead, but the conscience. Amen. Amen. The conscience, it serves you throughout the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Who has gone to heaven and it is at the right hand side of God, ruling over all angel and heavenly authority and powers. You see you said, you don't understand what the Apostle Peter says. You see, the reason of the death of Christ when being passed away, when rose up, it means we passed away together, we've been rose up with him in his resurrection. So if we rose up with him in his resurrection, it means his life must come in us. We must have his own life. So we'll be taken away. Don't wait again. You see, in this time, the Lord is giving us example uh, by his servant, Apostle Peter here. It means, if you go, we're going to read it next Sunday, in the second Peter chapter 3. What the people are thinking, is say, no, this world will remain the same. Nothing. And how does I say, when you die, we're going to go somewhere, those ones that they are inside of their organizations. Do you understand? But it's differently with us. As we need to stand on the scriptures, the spoken word created heaven and earth, that the devil came with the wrong interpretation and brought the death. But the Lord Christ came, fight it and rose. By his resurrection, we took the eternal life. So when we passed away, we didn't pass away completely like them. Nothing will condemn us because the book of John chapter 5, verse 21, 24 said, those ones are in Christ, they passed from the death to the life. Do you understand? That's the resurrection of Christ brought to us. So there is not another expiation will come. We have only one, that's why the Apostle Peter said, once to save whole. Those one that abandoned themselves, they took the decision to take the position. So the Spirit shall come and dwell in you and makes you not a member of such, such church, but a member in his mystical body. In the that only body went to the rapture, the body of Jesus Christ. The same yesterday, today, and forever. May the Lord God bless you. I stop here this morning. We will have a time to continue next Sunday. As I said, we're going to read in the book of Genesis chapter 4 and Genesis chapter 5. And some of the scripture we didn't read this morning. We need to know and understand and discover the scripture being vindicated in the time we are living because Lord God in and every time send the scriptures. Those who have been reading the book of Isaiah chapter 41, the Lord uh, defied the devil and their, his servant to say, 
Can you tell us something will happen just in a few time? It means God is the only one knows what will come. So it will, it will happen on the next day. So he always prepared. Like in the trumpet was sounded in the Old Testament. You see. So the trumpet being sounded in the time we are living is the book. It's written in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. What the Bible says, the Lord himself, you see, by the shout, you see, by the sound of the trumpet is the Revelation chapter 10 from verse 1 to 7. So the people in the church doesn't preach that because they reject the perfect will of God of the time we are living. May the Lord God bless you. Happy Sunday, everyone. We we'll continue it next Sunday by the grace of God. May the Lord God bless you. I really appreciate your time, your presence. That's uh, what I can say. Love you shall have to share this word to others so we can understand the time we are living and which position we have to take and where we must be members. From the church built by human beings or to fund a way which it will be brought us to be members in his body. The only body went to the rapture. May the Lord God bless you. Shalom.